I will show you how I make my sunscreen. No chemicals, no cancer-causing ingredients, no dyes, just good old plain oils, butters, zinc oxide, and cocoa butter. So I started by adding one cup of water to a pot over medium heat and placed a heat-proof bowl over it, making sure it would not touch the surface of the water. This is basically a double broiler, but since I don't have an official one, I had to improvise. To the bowl, I added the coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, and cocoa butter. You can buy beeswax in a big block that would have to be chopped into smaller pieces or, like I have it here, in pearl size. These melt way quicker, and I'm a big fan. Also, I don't know if anyone cares, but beeswax comes in two varieties. The natural deep yellow color with its specific scent and a more processed version, which is wider and less fragrant. Use whichever you prefer, but for me, the less processed, the better. The essential oils that I use are from doTERRA because I have family and friends that can get them for me. I know people have very strong preferences when it comes to their oils, so all I will say is use the best quality you can afford. I used 10 drops for this recipe and it was just perfect for me. You can also use a different oil if lavender is not your scent. You might be asking why add the cocoa butter? Well, you know how sunscreen has that white film that stays on top of the skin if you don't rub it in really well? The cocoa butter is here to eliminate the white film. I added two tablespoons, but if you want a deeper shade and a more intense chocolate flavor, skip the essential oil and add up to five tablespoons of cocoa powder. And if thoughts of eating your sunscreen come to mind at that point, don't even think about blaming me. The zinc oxide powder is what will sit on top of the skin and form a protective layer against the UV rays. Make sure you get the non-nano type. The mixture will start to cool and thicken the moment it gets off the heat, so just move really quickly. If it cooled before you had a chance to move it to a storage jar, just microwave for 10 seconds and it will be easier to transfer. And be warned that since you are working with butters and oils, you will have to clean the bowl, the spatula, and the jar really well to get everything off. The consistency of this sunscreen is more like a body butter than the regular sunscreen that you get from the store. The ingredients I use will be linked below, so check them out. 
Thank you for watching. Please share it with your friends and family and also consider subscribing if you like what I do here. And as always, have a wonderful day.